So the more common GI disorder seen in clinic would include your colic, your constipation, and your regurgitation. And they may occur singly or in combination. So an infant or a child may have one symptom or may end up having all three symptoms at one point. So your functional GI disorders end up leading to costly and expensive investigations. You end up having diagnostic misadventures which yield negative results. They may cause emotional and social distress to patients. They end up becoming depressed and anxious, which may start during childhood and end up all the way to adolescence. This would end up leading to a decrease in the quality of life. In addressing functional GI disorders, we need to have a knowledge of the current Rome 4 criteria, and you need to learn how to rule out red flags to make sure that you don't have any organic disease. Parental education, support, and advice are always important in managing your functional GI disorders. Probiotics is a very safe option in treating your FGIDs. Dietary manipulation, such as the use of your carobin gum, has been shown to be efficacious in the treatment of your regurgitation without the risk of obesity. Furthermore, your carobin gum has been shown to enhance the growth of your lactobacillus, which would help in the treatment of infantile colic. So, addition of your probiotics, your GOS, and your carobine gum has been shown to increase the production of your short-chain fatty acids, acidify the colonic pH, and induce colonic peristalsis, which would lead to softer stools.